Who wants to go to the park? Woo! Yes! <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, look at this mess. We're not going anywhere until we get this cleaned up. Okay, Papa. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, come on, Johnny. Let's clean. Johnny? Johnny? Johnny, Johnny. Yes, sister? Playing cars? No, sister. Telling lies? No, sister. It's cleanup time. Ha, ha, ha. <gasps> Johnny, Johnny! Yes, sister? Doing puzzles? No, sister. Telling lies? No, sister. It's cleanup time! Ha, ha, ha! Papa, tell Johnny he has to clean up his part of the mess, too. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Being silly? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. It's cleanup time. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, I think I have an idea, and I think you're both gonna like it. Maybe we can dance. And clean. And we could do it all together. Then we could go to the park. Yes! Time for... The Park! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we're performing Johnny Johnny Yes Papa. Let's meet our players. I'm Katie, and I'll be playing Johnny. I'm Luke, and I'll be playing Johnny too. And I'm Arthur, and I'll be playing Papa. Ready, set, let's go! Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Papa? Eating sugar? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha.
Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating chocolate. No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ha ha ha. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating ice cream. No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ha ha ha. You kids are really sneaky. I think you need a break from sweets for a little while. Oh, the Papa. I just don't want you to get a tummy ache. Eating lots of sugary sweets can get you really sick. Okay. We're sorry we lied. Hey, maybe we should brush our teeth now. The dentist told me that eating too much sugar can give our teeth cavities. Ew, I don't want to have holes in my teeth. Good idea, but maybe we should finish that ice cream first. We don't want it to melt and go to waste, do we? Hooray! Yay! Thanks for joining us, Mother Goose Club. You can put on your own Johnny Johnny Yes Papa plays at home. Bye! <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, I was supposed to perform a Johnny Johnny rhyme for you. But Johnny has been sound asleep all day. I can't wake him up. Uh, I know a song that might wake him up. It's called, Are You Sleeping? Oh, but just a song won't be enough to do it. I know. I can ring this bell too. That has to wake Johnny up. Will you sing with me? I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Let's do it. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Sing and ring my bell even louder this time. Will you help me try again? Thanks. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Johnny, 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 Johnny. Morning bows are ringing. Morning bows are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Maybe if I ring the bell the whole time I'm singing, it'll wake him up. Sing with me. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Johnny, 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 Johnny. Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Papa, why are you making so much noise? <sighs> Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Sleeping late? No, Papa. Ignoring the bell? No, Papa. <sighs> Telling lies? Ha, ha, ha. Ha.
Well, at least you're awake now. Ready to do our performance? Yes! Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Eating cookies? No, Papa. Telling lies? Ha, ha, ha. to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we'll be performing the story of Johnny and his craft projects. I will be playing Papa. And I will be playing Johnny. Ha, ha, ha. Places, everyone. I'm supposed to use these beads to make bracelets for my friends. But I have a better idea. Making crafts? No, Papa. Making bracelets? No, Papa. Making messes? Ha, ha, ha. Ugh. I'm supposed to use this glitter to make sparkly cards for my friends. But I have a better idea. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Making crafts? No, Papa. Making cards? No, Papa. Making messes? Ha, ha, ha. <sighs> I'm supposed to use this paint to make portraits of my friends. But I have a better idea. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Making crafts? No, Papa. Making paintings? No, Papa. Making messes? Ha, ha, ha. <sighs> A little messiness when you're making stuff is fine, but I think we should clean up a little and focus on finishing our crafts for our friends. You're right, Papa. I promise I'll clean up my mess. But first, can we make rainbow cards using this beautiful new color I made? You bet. Bye, Bye Mother, Mother Goose, Goose Club. Club! Welcome to Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. I'm Johnny, and this is Papa. Today we're baking a cake. Will you help us? Great! Oops, I forgot eggs. I'll be right back. Don't touch any of the ingredients while I'm gone. Okay, Papa. Mm. Mm. I'm back. Hey, were you eating the sprinkles? Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Papa. Eating sprinkles? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Mm. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Mm, okay, Johnny, I believe you're telling the truth. Of course, Papa. Mm. Oops, I forgot flour. I'll be right back. Don't touch any of the ingredients while I'm gone. 
Okay, Papa. Yes, Papa? Eating frosting? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Mm, okay, Johnny, I believe you're telling the truth. Of course, Papa. Mm. Oops, I forgot milk. I'll be right back. Don't touch any of the ingredients while I'm gone. Okay, Papa. Aha! Looks like someone couldn't wait until the cake was finished to enjoy his treat. Sorry, Papa. Hopefully the snake surprise will teach you to be patient until the cake is ready. You got me, Papa. Now where did I put those chocolate chips? Maybe you can go find them for me? You got it, Papa. My Mother Goose Club. Hi, Mother Goose Club. My name is Ruby, and today I'm making a pizza with my friends. What they don't know is that I'm going to be dressing up as Blanket Watcher and pranking them. <laughs> Make a pizza, roll out the dough, toss it up high, stretch it out slow, 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 spread on tomato sauce, sprinkle on cheese. Boogly, Yes! For after. 
after dinner. But I'm hungry now. Well, if you're hungry, you can have an apple. Cookies are for dessert. No sweets until dinner. Trash kids don't eat dinner. In your mouth. Uh, uh, uh. Sugar is not a healthy snack. Mary, Mary. Yes, Papa. Eating chocolate. No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Chocolate is not a healthy snack. Open your mouths. Johnny, did you want a snack before dinner? Yes. Which do you think would be a better snack? Papa. Thanks, Papa. Cookie. 
Bet you they taste even better now after waiting. Look at that smug duck. This silly duck can't stop admiring himself in the mirror. Smug duck is very vain. What a lovely perfume! What could the little duckling be up to? <laughs> what a fiendish little duck! <laughs> be careful, smug duck! Very smug duckling very happily went for a walk. His tail was well perfumed. Boom bada doom bada doom. He crossed paths with a lady duck and wanted to win her affection. The lady duckling kept walking. Boom, bada doom, bada doom. <laughs> Hi, Mother Goose Club. Welcome to the Dress Up Theater. Today, I'm pretending to be a zookeeper. That's a scientist that studies and protects animals. I'm taking care of this old owl and learning about it. Hoo, hoo. I'm a wise old owl. Ask me anything. I know the answer. OK, answer me this. Why do owls invite friends to play? Because they don't want to be owl by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I have another one for you, Mr. Owl. Now, hang on a second, youngster. I only answer one question at a time. But why is that? If you're so wise, don't you want to share everything you know? Let me tell you something about wise old owls. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Now, wasn't he a wise old bird? So you're saying it's better to listen to people than to talk all the time? That's right. Now, let's see if you pay close attention to my rhyme. You try it. OK. You can try saying the rhyme with me. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Now, wasn't he a wise old bird? Well done, zookeeper. Now. Let me ask you a question. Me? That's right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? Who, who? <laughs> you make a pretty good owl yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for pretending with us. Ooh. Bye, Mother Goose Club. Hi, I'm Vaughn, and today, I'm going to dress up as a blanket monster so I can scare my friends. Booga, booga! Ah! Wah ha 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 ha! I just scared one person. Now I will scare two more. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Make me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a booga booga! Ah! -ha, 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 ha I just scared two people. Now I will scare three more. Rock, paper, 
paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Booga, booga! Ah! Wah ha 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 ha! I just scared three people! Booga, ah! booga! <laughs> Got you back! You sure did! You guys want to play Fort? Yeah! And we can use my blanket! Perfect! Bye, Mother Goose Club! Hi, Mother Goose Club! Today's Playhouse Challenge is called Make That Noise! My name is Drake. And I'm Chamberlain. Today, we're going to be imitating loud objects that you've seen before. Let's get started! The first noise is a vacuum cleaner. Cue the noise! Right, Drake, are you ready to give us your best vacuum cleaner impression? Yes, I am. Your turn, Chamberlain. Okay. Wow, both of those are very good. You both get another try if you want. I want to go again. Me too. Okay. Both of you did a great job, but I think Drake did just a little yeah. better this time. Drake gets a point. Can you make a noise like a vacuum cleaner? We'll play the noise for you again. Great job! You sounded just like a vacuum cleaner. Our next noise is a telephone. Let's cue it up. Can I go first? Yeah, you can go. Thank you. Okay, my turn now. Those were great first tries. You can both have another chance if you want. I, I want to go again. Me too. Oh, Chamberlain wins this time. Nice telephone impression. Can you make a noise like a telephone? We'll play the noise for you again. Wow, great telephone impression. Our next noise is a big freight train. Cue the freight train. One more try for each of you. Okay, here we go. Okay. Fresh! Oh man, how do I choose between you two? This is very close, but I think Drake's was just a little bit louder. Drake gets a point, which makes him today's winner! Can you make a noise like a freight train? We'll play the noise for you again. Whoa! You sounded just like a big, loud freight train. Thanks for playing with us today. You both made such funny noises. We'll see you next time on Playhouse Challenge. Bye! Bye! Da 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 Hello and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, my friend and I will be performing the tale of Jack and Jill. I will be Jill. And I will be Jack. Places, everybody. Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Oh no! Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Ow! Uh, ow! That didn't go so well, huh, Jack? Nope. 
up Jack got, and home did trot as fast as he could caper. And he went to bed to mend his head with vinegar and brown paper. Wait, vinegar? Yeah. Why? It smells awful. It'll make you feel better. I promise. Jill came in, and she did grin to see Jack's paper plaster. She jumped for joy to see her boy all healed from his disaster. Thanks, Jill. It worked. But we still haven't gotten our pail of water. Hmm. I think we should build a staircase up the hill so we don't slip while we carry the heavy pail. That's a great idea. With stones and sticks and mud and bricks they built with careful timing, steps to guide them up the side the hill that they were climbing. What do you think, Jack? Looks pretty sturdy to me. Only one way to find out. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. The steps were good, and so they could live happily ever after. We did it, Jill. We make a pretty good team, Jack. Thanks for playing with us. You can act out your own Jack and Jill show at home, too. Bye, Mother Goose Club. Hello, and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we will be performing the story of Little Miss Muffet. I will be playing the role of Little Miss Muffet. I'm going to be the spider. I'm going to be the tuffet. Aw, uh, don't be so sad about it. You're a very important part of the story. I want it to be Blinkin' Monster. But Blinkin' Monster isn't in the story, and we really need someone to be the tuffet. Fine. Well, without further ado, places, everybody! Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds away. Yum! Tastes like vanilla yogurt. Along came a spider and sat down beside her. Hiya! Ah! And frightened Miss Muffet away. Thanks, spider. No problem. Want some curds and whey? No, I'll pass. friends. My name is Janet and I am here today on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. Let me introduce my friends. This is Gianna. Hi. And this is Ethan. Hi. They're brother and sister. They're my neighbors. They come over often and we do crazy things like today. So yep. today is a taste test challenge. So ooh. Ooh, any ideas what we might be tasting? Today we're going to be tasting baby food. <laughs> so Put these blindfolds on. There you go. I think I might actually like some of them. Well, I'm kind of wondering about baby food because I don't really remember eating anything when I was a baby. Well, right now I want you to pretend like if you were a very hungry baby, what kinds of sounds would you be making? <laughs> <laughs> really? 
See, I would think that maybe you just needed to change your diaper on that one. I want to hear a hungry baby sound. Um. Because I got one. You want to hear mine? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Feed me. No, I guess you don't talk when you're a baby. So, how about this? I want you to get ready. I'm going to grab uh, something here. I'm going to put it on your spoon. So, I'm going to keep keeping score here. So, have a taste at it. What do you think that uh, tastes like? Very mushy. Mushy, all tastes right. Tastes like ketchup. Ketchup, really? Ooh, it tastes like this type of fruit I really like, but I can't I name it. Maybe right. like a pear or an apple? Pear or apple, okay. All right, so um, I've heard a lot of things here, but I want uh, your final guess. Apple, apple cider. Or apple cider, okay. And what is your final guess there, Gianna? Apple. All right, so. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared. No, don't no. be scared. All right, so take a... Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. It's not good. Okay. Let's see. Um, If you have a final guess here, so other than not good... Uh, I'm just going to say squash. I don't know. Okay, squash. All right, what's your final answer there, Ethan? Asparagus. Asparagus, wow. All right, so here you guys go. This is number three. Any ideas? More liquidy than the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really liquidy. It's like not a usual taste. It not tastes a... like the you know, that flower artichoke. Like yeah, maybe like, like artichoke. Yeah, that's what I think it is. It's, mm -hmm. it's weird tasting. Okay, so we're gonna go. So your final answers are artichoke for that one. Yes. yes. All right. So hand me those spoons back. All right. Hopefully it's fruity. Like yeah. well, fruit. Ooh, that went a little everywhere. Yeah. What are you thinking? What are you thinking there? Ooh. Ooh. This one actually tastes like artichoke. Wow, we have more artichokes. I, I promise you they're not all artichokes. I think I know what it is. What do you think? Peas, like green peas or something. All right, green peas. What's your final answer over there? You're still going with artichoke? No. No? It's not good at all. Peas. Asparagus. Wow. So the final answer is asparagus? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, this should be awesome. This sounds amazing. Should remind you of a holiday, all right? What do you think? Potato, but... Ooh, it, like, okay. Potato, what? All right, what about you? It's weird. <laughs> all right, so other than weird, final answer. Oh, I'm um, just gonna say potato. I can't really think of anything else. All right, I think what, it's potato too. Are you just copying? Nope, it tastes like this burnt, weird potato. Burnt, weird potato. Okay, that's what we'll say there. If you don't like this one, I'm gonna be super, super surprised. Am I right? Is it good? Cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon. Yeah, like a, like a cinnamon apple. I forgot what they're called. It's like cinnamon and apples. Cinnamon apple. This was a delicious one, yeah? Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right, here you go. Here's oh, there. Oh, there. Okay, there you go. Everybody's got theirs. Okay, good, good. It tastes like grape. Grape, huh? I'm gonna say apple or pear. Um, I'm gonna go with pear. You're going with pear. Okay, so, all right. What are you thinking? I'm scared. Ugh. Oh, what? I just said a little bit. It's like really thick and more of a solid than a liquid. I, I know this taste, but I can't. Broccoli. Why you say broccoli with such vengeance? Okay, what about you? Um. Final answer. Green peas. All right. All right, so rate this one for me. Mm, I don't really know about this one. Okay, you don't know. Okay, so final answer, if you're just gonna guess. Um, carrot. Okay. It does not taste like a carrot to me. Okay, what does it taste like to you? Final answer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Squash. Okay, squash. All right, there you go. Final, final one. Oh, let's see. Is this one a good one? I think it's a good one. It is good, but I can't. It's good, but you can't really place it. Yeah, because of all the other tasting. Oh, so, it's, so oh, it's your palate weird. has not been cleansed. Hmm. What do you think? Final answer here. Strawberry. Right? Oh, strawberry. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna go with strawberry. We are now. It's have reached that moment where we're going to tabulate and see who got the most 
things right here on our baby food challenge. So I'm looking at the flavors and there's zucchini, broccoli, medley. Wait till you figure Ew. this out. So number one, <laughs> number one, Gianna, you said it was mushy and fruit and you finally said your final answer was apple. Yes. You actually said ketchup of all things at very first and yeah. then you finally said apple cider, but it was in fact banana. Yes. That was banana? That was banana, the very first one. So for number two, you said your go-to answer here was either asparagus. Yeah, that's, asparagus. That's what you say here. And then yours, you said uh, some type of squash. That was the old rice and lentils. Number three, uh, you said horrible and artichoke, right? That's what you said. And then yep. you said more liquidy, uh, uh, not as artichoke. And believe it or not, that was actually what we're calling zucchini broccoli medley. Ew! Yeah. So maybe there was a little bit of artichoke that. in there. So, I'm guessing it was that. So because neither one of you has scored a point, I'm gonna give you, we don't know what the medley might also include. I'm gonna maybe give you a point for that. So sorry, Gianni, of zero. Now, <laughs> for number four, all right, uh, you said, oh, you like totally went like gross and you said you went back to saying it was asparagus yeah you said green peas not good it was actually green peas yours for the win so then the one that i said that may have tasted a bit like the holidays you know what you said i said potato you so you're gonna get a point for that because it was sweet potato right oh. sweet potato and chicken did anybody and taste chicken, chicken? yeah chicken. chicken was in there did you taste the chicken because you yeah. apparently did not, but you did say weird burnt potato. So I'm going to give you, all right, I'm going to give you a point. So right now, yeah, right tie. now it's a tie, two to two right here. So then the next one, you guys said, you said pear, you yes. said grape, but in fact it was apples. Oh, yep. That was right. apples. Yep. And then the next one here, you said green peas, you said broccoli, but it was actually vegetable turkey dinner. So next, number nine, uh, you said squash, and you said totally not good, you said carrot, and that was the summer vegetable dinner. So, because I can't know what they say, and uh, well, let's see here. It has a carrot right Oh, uh, yep, it's got a carrot, and oop, it says squash, so you both get a point for that. So it's now three to three. Oh. Let's find out for this last one. What do you think? They both said strawberry. I think I'm going to win. Nope. Both of you said strawberry. It is prunes. <gasps> so officially here on the Mother Goose Club Playhouse, it is a tie. So raise your hands in victory. Three to three. We tied in the baby food taste test challenge. All right. We'll see you next time when uh, who knows what we'll be tasting. See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye. Now, are you sure you wouldn't want some more pears or raspberries? I'm good. All right. What about the apples? Anybody? No. Hello, friends. My name is Janet, and you are joining us today on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. You have something for me to try today. So tell me about what you have in store for us. Okay. So today we're going to do the Bean Boozled Challenge. We have a spinner, and each person will take turns spinning it. And then whatever the arrow lands on, each person will grab that color jelly bean. And if you cannot take it, then you know you can just spit it out in here. So Ethan, would you like to go first? Okay, land on something good. Coconut or baby wipes? <gasps> Coconut or baby wipes? On your mark, get yeah. set, go. Oh, no, no, definitely a baby wipe. But it's baby wipes. Baby <laughs> wipes. I'm gonna take it though. Okay. Hopefully we get oh, it. whoa, that's a big spin. Uh oh. Oh, tutti fruity or stinky socks. Please, no stinky socks. One, two, two three. three. Tutti fruity. Woo! -hoo! Yes! No boozle in here. Stinky socks. Sorry. For the first time, I actually got tutti fruity. Tutti fruity. All right, may the bean boozlers be with me here. Here we go. Caramel corn <gasps> or moldy cheese. Here we go, everybody. One, two, two three. three. Oh my, God! <laughs> 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 I'll be back, I gotta brush my teeth. <laughs> oh God. Okay, of all the things I've ever eaten in the entirety of the known world, that <laughs> might have been the worst. Come on, pick a good one. 
Peach or barf? <gasps> uh, no! I, I thought it couldn't get worse after moldy cheese. Let, let's go really slowly on this. One, two, three. three. Oh! I can't tell. That's exactly... Oh. <laughs> I gotta brush my teeth again. It's terrible. So whose turn is it now? Mine. No! Chocolate pudding or canned dog food? Oh. It's the brown ones. Okay, so here we go. Chocolate, please, oh please be chocolate. Not chocolate, 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 chocolate. Chocolate, not dog food. One, One two, three. three. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a dog. So stick around, tune in again, and who knows what we'll be doing on Mother Goose Club Playhouse the next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, hi everybody. I am Janet and today we are in the Mother Goose Club Playhouse kitchen and I am joined by my friends Anna Grace. Hello. And my friend Lucas. Hi. Today we are making pizza. We made our dough and now it is time to roll out our crust. Now, what we want to do is we want to put a little bit of flour on our rolling pin. That way the dough won't stick to it so much. Let's get to rolling here. Here is a trivia question. Does anybody know who invented pizza? Gooey Lou. Gooey Louie, I love that name. I don't think he has anything to do with pizza. Uh, do you have a guess? I have no idea. His name was Rafael Esposita, June 11th, 1889, and he was making a pizza for Queen Margarita of Savoy. And so on it, he put tomato sauce, basil, which is green, and mozzarella cheese. So you have red, green, and white, which were the colors of Italy. Uh, we will give uh, Rafael Esposito some credit today for making pizza. All right, so I think that I'm good. But it's like I... Oh, I don't want it! <laughs> you guys give it a try. That's kind of fun. It's kind of like action, like a frisbee. Yeah. Wow, that's good stuff. Oh yeah, one last twirl. So we have made our pizza crust. They're all looking very, very delicious. Now, what do you suppose is the first thing we need to do? We need to put pizza sauce on. All right, so with that said, everybody grab a spoon and pizza sauce away. All right, so once you're fine with how much sauce you have on there, all right, you guys are good with that? All right. Now we're going to talk about the ingredients we can put on top of our pizza. Now, you mentioned put that you like what on your pizza? Pepperoni and cheese. All right. So are you going to put your cheese on first or your pepperoni? Cheese. All right. So away you go. Now, what are you? What would you like to put first on your pizza? You know, I think I'm going to do something really funky. I'm going to put my cheese on last. Ah, oh, very, very creative cool. here. All right, so what would you like to go with first? Probably bacon. <laughs> All right, so she's going to put a bit of bacon. Now, I am going to go uh, the route of Chef Lucas over here, put a little cheese. Have you guys ever had avocado on a pizza? Is Not that what you make guacamole out of? It is what you make guacamole out of, but I love avocado, so I'm gonna put a little avocado here. So you're gonna go for a little pepper there, a little orange bell pepper. I think that's a good idea. Now, where are you gonna go from here? Um, sausage. All right. Oh my goodness, all of this smells so good. I just wanna like eat it. Ah, it won't <laughs> be long now. And uh, so I've got my peppers, I've got my avocado. I might go with a little more cheese. I might, oh, you know what, I forgot. That looks really yummy. And then I'm gonna put some black olives on there just for good measure. There we go. All right, so now it is time to put the pizzas in the oven. Can you say, la pizza? La, la pizza. pizza. In the oven. In the <laughs> oven. <laughs> you always wanna be careful with the oven and have some assistance with that. And now we will set our timer. All right, and we wait. Oh goodness, this is Lucas's pizza. We're gonna put that right there. This is Anna Grace's pizza. And then this is my pizza. 
<laughs> Do these so not look amazing? And they smell fantastic, don't oh, they? Yes. Uh, are you proud of your creation? I think it's going to be really good. All right. And you're excited to try it yours? so good. I say it's time to cut into these pizzas and let's have a bite. I think the word for the day is bon appetit. Everybody try a bite of your pizza. All right. That's pretty good, guys. How about yours? It's a, oh, it's a little hot. So, no, it's a little hot. All right. So, we have a few final words for you. Bon appetit! We'll see you next time, Mother Goose. See you next time. Bye, Mother Goose. Are you willing to try some avocado there for me? We'll try it. All right, come on, Lucas. Would you say that an avocado is a vegetable or a fruit? A um, fruit? It is a fruit. It's actually a single seeded berry. Okay, so how about a little bite of onion? Wow, onion is very delicious. <gasps> oh, it's I hot. spicy. Oh, it's hot know. to you. Oh. A, a little bit of an anchovy here. This is a fish cured in uh, salt and oil. Anybody brave enough to try this with me? They're really salty. Really salty, really fishy. Super fishy. <laughs> Kinda tastes like the aquarium smells. Hello, Mother Goose Club. I'm here with my friends, Darby and Ariana, and we're gonna be doing a Pringles taste test. Okay, you guys are gonna have to put some blindfolds on. All right. Okay. Okay, here's our first mystery Pringle. Whoa. <laughs> I've never had this one. Oh, it tastes good. I've never... Wow, I don't know this? what this would be. <laughs> I think it's dill. Is it like dill mm, or like is a it... dill pickle? Yeah. Kind of tastes like... I'm gonna go with dill pickle. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with sweet relish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mystery Pringle number two. I'm gonna go with barbecue sauce. Yeah, I think it's okay. barbecue. Yeah. Mystery Pringle number three. This one might be a little more tricky than the last one. Okay. I think it'll taste good though. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm tasting. I don't either. <laughs> it tastes like, it doesn't have a flavor. It smells really good. Do you need to try um, another one? Mustard? Okay. <laughs> I think. Is that your guess? That's my guess. Okay. I think it's mustard. original. Original? Okay. Okay, mystery Pringle number four. Okay. Oh. oh, wait. I know this, but I don't know what the word is. Like, oh, It smells like. It tastes like um chili. Yes, it's chili. Yeah, chili, for sure, for sure. Do I have to finish this? Huh? I'm taking so long. No, you don't have to finish mm. it. You don't want to. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. <laughs> okay, number five. Mm. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think it's ranch. Ranch? I would think this is the original. It just kind of tastes like potato mm, chips. Yeah. Are you changing, mm. your, are you changing mm. your answer? Um, yeah, I think I think this one is original. Yeah. It's a salty. Number six. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Wait, I'm really clueless. Hmm. Just make a wild guess. Lemon, lime, uh, ranch. Lemon. <laughs> okay. Lemon, lime, ranch. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna go with ranch because I haven't guessed that one I yet. Still, and I, I still taste I don't chili. Know. Is your mouth burning? Because <laughs> if you know, my <laughs> mouth is not burning. Your mouth should not burn from a, a, a chili flavored potato chip though. Okay, this I is number know. seven. Mm. Mm, this is That's salt and so vinegar. Good. Salt and vinegar? Yeah, I think this is salt and vinegar. I think it's cheddar. Cheddar? Yeah. Okay. I really still have like so much flavors in my mouth. I know. No <laughs> idea. Yeah. Okay. So this one is mystery pinkle number eight. Mm. 
This is salt and vinegar. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, this is mystery Pringle number nine. Sour cream and onion. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, it's so good. Our last mystery Pringle, number 10. <laughs> Any guesses? Uh, I mean, taco? I recognize <laughs> this flavor, but I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I think it's taco or taco? cheeseburger. Or... Oh, cheeseburger. That's probably a good guess. I think I'm it's go with taco. 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 But I feel like I stole it from you. No, nah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now it's time to tally our scores and see who won the Pringle taste test challenge. Okay, can we take off our blindfolds? Sure. For our first mystery Pringle flavor. Ariana, you guessed dill pickle, and Darby, you guessed sweet relish. And the flavor for the first mystery Pringle was cheeseburger. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> that totally tasted, tasted like uh, well, well, you have dill, dill sauce. pickles on <laughs> cheeseburgers. For our second mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed barbecue, and you were right. For our third mystery Pringle, Ariana, you guessed mustard and you guessed original. And the answer was honey mustard. So no, you, you, got, you that. got it. Yes. You got it. That was smart. It wasn't even bad. I don't even like mustard. But it <laughs> tasted good. Mustard. And for our fourth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed chili and you were right. And for the fifth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed original and you guys were right again. And for our sixth mystery Pringle, you guessed ranch, and you guessed lemon lime ranch, and <laughs> the answer was zesty salsa. Oh, that was the lime. So you yeah. were kind of you were closer. I actually, was like the lemon lime ranch. ranch. Yeah, you were you were kind of close. <laughs> okay, and for our seventh mystery Pringle, you guessed cheddar and you mm -hmm. guessed salt and vinegar, and the answer was ranch. What? Oh. <laughs> without being blindfolded and see if they taste different because <laughs> right. I know what it is. And for the eighth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed salt and vinegar and you were right. Okay, and for our ninth, you guys both guessed sour cream and onion and you were right again. It was sour cream and onion. We didn't do too bad. No, you no, guys did we pretty good. Okay. You guys yeah. did pretty good. Yeah. Okay, and for our last one, you guys both guessed taco. But the answer was pizza. Pizza. What? <laughs> oh. I guess I can see that. Um, or taste that. Okay, and for our final scores, the winner is drum roll please. Ariana! Yes! Good job. Good it job. was really you close. Too. You had six and you had five. Okay. So it was it very was close. close call. Yeah. Yeah. Very close. Good yeah. job. Good job. You too. Nailed it. Thank you for watching Mother Goose Club. Bye. Bye. Hello friends, my name is Janet. Welcome to Mother Goose Club Playhouse and our scientific lab. I am joined by my friends Ethan. Hi. And Gianna. Hi. And today we are going to do a little scientific experiment. Really, we're gonna to need to fill this test tube up about three quarters full. You're gonna put that there with salt. Now you'll notice that we are wearing our lab coats, right? looking very dandy as a scientist, and our goggles. Anytime we're doing science uh, experiments, we want to protect our eyes. That looks just about perfect. All right, so now you fill yours up. All right, that's looking good. Now, take your marbles, place it very gently right there on top of the salt, but uh, let's see how you might think to get it to the other end. I need it down on this end. All right, you've got some wiggling action there, okay. All right. Some shaking, some wiggling. All right. Oh, oh, you might be onto something. The fierce shake. Hey, where is it at? Oh, the super fierce shake. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Uh, now, let's see where you are. Let's see where you are. Oh, right there! Okay, you're. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think mine went up. It goes up. Hmm. Which part? Whoa, mine went up! Yours went all the way to the top, but we want it all the way down here. Now, remember again what you did earlier. They got it. I went like this. All right. <gasps> all right, it's moving. That same motion made it go all the way up. Right. So. Maybe if I shake it the opposite way. Because <gasps> it was making it 
go up. Huh. Gianna is on it. Oh, so, so super close. Got it. Did you get it? Oh, look at that. Yay. It's right there. So she's been able to get her marble all the way through. You are very near there. Can you explain your process of science here? So basically shake it this way, it was traveling more towards the upper part of the tube. So I thought maybe if I turned it upside down like this and shook it, then it would travel this way since I figured out it was traveling up, which got it to the bottom. There you go, and Ethan also came to that same conclusion. Basically, if you shake it in a certain manner where the salt and the marble are traveling at the same rate, that marble can move all the way through that mass of salt. Hey guys, we want you to play at home, be scientific. We'll see you next time on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. Bye! <laughs> Hello, Mother Goose Club. My name is Gianna. Today on Playhouse Challenge, we're going to play a new game called the taste test. Let's meet our contestants, Ethan and Maggie. Hi! We're gonna be blindfolded and eat different types of mystery foods. And then we'll try to guess the mystery foods we just ate. After we taste test a mystery food, we'll give a point to the person who guesses correctly. Ready? Let's begin. The first food is apples. How does that feel in your hand? Smooth, kind of point. Feels like it has a stick on top. Round, and it feels like it might be shiny. How does it smell? Fruity, delicious. What color do you think it is? Green? Red. How does it taste? Sweet and juicy. Crunchy and sweet. What food do you think you just ate? A pear? An apple. Please lift up your blindfold and let's find out who guessed correctly. Maggie, you are correct. It was an apple. That means you get one point and Ethan gets no points. Sorry. Let's try another mystery food. Please put your blindfolds back on. The second mystery food is oranges. Go. How does that food feel in your hand? Bum. Lumpy, lumpy, and... Rough, ridgy, and spongy. How does it smell? Fresh, tropical. Smells like breakfast. Tangy, citrusy, and zesty. What color do you think it is? I think it's orange. I think it's yellow. And now, have a taste. Here you go. Here you go. What does this food taste like? Sweet, juicy, delicious. Sour, but also sweet. Very unique. What food do you think you just ate? I know, it's an orange. No, it's definitely a lemon. Please put your forks down and lift up your blindfold. The correct food is oranges. Ethan gets one point. Sorry, Maggie, you get no point. It's a tie game. Okay, let's get ready for our last mystery. Food! Please put your blindfolds back on. 
The last mystery food is peaches. Here you go. Here you go. How does this food feel in your hand? Hairy, fuzzy, kind of tickles your fingers. Squishy, soft, and very fuzzy. How does it smell? Yummy. It kind of smells like my favorite fruit pie. What color do you think it is? Pink? Yellow? Orange? There you go. What does this food taste like? It's too mushy and feels like I'm eating a slug. This is delicious, quite peachy. What food do you think you just ate? I think I just ate a pink slug. I know I just ate a peach. Okay, please put down your forks and lift up your blindfolds. The correct answer is peaches. That means Maggie is our grand prize winner of yes. today's Playhouse Challenge. Yes. Good job, Ethan. Good, Good job, job, Maggie. Thanks. Good job, Maggie. I tasted so many delicious foods today, but my favorite was definitely the peach. My favorite was the orange. And remember to eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables every day. Thanks for playing with us on today's Mother Goose Club Playhouse Challenge. Bye, Bye Mother Goose Club. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.